Let's have a look in this video at how we can find the gradient of the graph after nine hours. So it's a good idea to put a little spot at nine hours, going up from halfway between eight and ten to the nine hours. And then we need to draw in a tangent to the curve at that point, which means we need to put our ruler onto the graph paper and get it so that it is just touching the line at that point there. And when we think we've got that lined up nicely, we're ready to draw in that line, which hopefully you agree is touching just at this point, or it goes over the line a little bit, but it's centered around that point. So that looks good. We now need to change this into a triangle and I'm drawing the triangle as big as possible, as that will give me the most accurate gradient. So for gradient, I need to do that the gradient is the change in the vertical divided by the change in the horizontal. So to work out the change in the vertical, I need to look at my final vertical value, which is zero. So I would do zero minus my starting vertical value, which is 14,000, which would give me minus 14,000. However, I've made a little mistake, which is to not look here, which says that this axis is showing 14,000 times 10 to the 20. So I should really have times 10 to the 20 there. <clears throat> so watch out for things that are included on the axes rather than on the number here. So my change in the vertical is minus 14,000 times 10 to the 20. And now I need to do my change in the horizontal. And the final horizontal value is 18. So I'll do 18 minus the starting horizontal value is 0, which gives me 18 hours. So now I'm ready to work out my gradient, which is going to equal minus 14,000 times 10 to the 20, my change in the vertical, divided by my change in the horizontal, which was 18. And at this point, I can get my calculator to put in the numbers. And I want to do my minus 14,000. And then to do the times 10 to the 20, which is like doing standard form, I need to use this button in the middle at the bottom and do that times 10 to the 20. And it's much better to use this for standard form than buttons up here because it's quicker and you don't have to put brackets around things. So now I can do divided by 18, press equals, and it's given me my answer in standard form, which I'm going to round to minus 7.8. And that's going to give me minus 7.8 times 10 to the 22. And I can leave that in standard form, how the calculator gave it me. But I now just need to do that that is going to be per hour. Because that is the number of nuclei that decay per hour. So my units would be per hour or nuclei per hour. And to understand the meaning of this, whenever you have a graph which has time and you do the gradient of something time, it gives you the rate of change of whatever it is that you have here. So I've got the rate of change of nuclei and that is telling me, because it's negative, that the number of nuclei is going down. So if I took away the minus sign, it would give me the rate of decay of nuclei.